Hey, all my friends, welcome back to Tuesday with Tasha. Have you ever felt like you were just too small? Maybe you have older siblings or cousins or friends and you are smaller than them and you feel like you can't do the same things they do. Let's see how our friend Tyson handles it in this book titled Too Small Tyson, written by Janae Brown Wood, illustrated by Anastasia Maglor Williams. Too Small Tyson. Tyson has four brothers, Thomas, Thaddeus, Tyrell, and Terrence. Tyson is the youngest and the smallest. When they play basketball, Tyson always seems to run around more than anybody else. I have to take way more steps to go as far as you guys, Tyson tells his brothers. Well, little man, says Terrence. Your steps are smaller. Yep, Tyson is definitely the little man of the family. But Tyson is bigger than some things, like Swish, who is the family's pet gerbil and Tyson's best friend. Swish loves climbing through the tubes in his Swish loves climbing through the tubes in his cage and eating snacks right out of Tyson's hand. Apples are Swish's favorite. After the game, it's time to clean Swish's cage. I can help, Tyson calls. Don't worry about it, little man, Tyrell says. We got it. Tyson's brothers never let him help. But when they go inside, Swish's cage is empty. Uh Uh-oh, Swish is on the loose. Where could he be? Can I help look? Don't worry about it, little man, Thomas says. We'll take care of it. Tyson wishes he could search with his brothers. Instead, he finds his own way to help. Tyson grabs the tubes from Swish's cage and heads for the kitchen. He begins washing the tubes so they'll be nice and clean when his brothers bring Swish back. There are short tubes, medium tubes, and long tubes. Just as Tyson finishes up, his brothers march into the kitchen. No Swish? asks Tyson. We checked the cabinets. We looked between the couch cushions. We dug inside the dresser drawers. We even searched the bathroom. No Swish. He's nowhere to be found. Poor little Swish. We can't give up. Tyson joins the search. He thinks about what it'd be like to be as small, small, small as Swish. If I were Swish, where would I go? Tyson crawls on his hands and knees, pretending to be a gerbil. There he is, shouts Tyson. I'll get him. Swish is hiding under the far corner of the bed, but Tyson's arm is too short to reach. Don't worry about it, little man. We got it, Thaddeus says, but Swish scurries just out of reach. Thomas, Tyrell, and Terrence all try. None of them can get to Swish. How are we going to get Swish out? What if... Tyson races to the kitchen and returns with Swish's tubes. He grabs one long tube. Now I can reach a lot farther, he says. But when he stretches out his arm with the long tube in hand, he still can't reach Swish. Good try, little man, Tyrell says. Swish will come out when he's ready. Let's go play some more ball. Don't worry, Swish, says Tyson. I'm not leaving you. Maybe. He grabs a second long tube. Two long tubes might reach all the way to Swish. But when Tyson accidentally bumps the bed, one long tube rolls off and under it. Tyson looks around for another long tube, but Swish's cage only had two. Wait a minute, Tyson says. He thinks back to the tubes on the counter. I need... Three mediums, one medium, two mediums. Aw, man, where is that other medium, Swish? I won't give up, Swish, Tyson says. I'm going to find a way to get to you. I'll use two short tubes instead. 
Tyson grabs the two short tubes and snaps all the tubes together. Look, he says to Swish, all of these are the same as two long tubes. Tyson slides the connected tubes under the bed. He reaches Swish, but the gerbil won't budge, and Tyson's brothers are back to see what's up. I got it, Tyson says. Come on out, Swish. I have your favorite. Just like that, Swish climbs through the tube all the way to the apple in Tyson's hand. Tyson cuddles his best friend close. Well, how about that, says Terrence. Good job, little man. Tyson has four brothers. He's the youngest and the smallest, but he's just the right size to lend a helping hand. That's exactly right, my friends. Even if you're little, you still can be very useful. You can lend a helping hand, you can get in small places, and you can use your big brain to think of interesting and fun and helpful ways to help people out, including your family and maybe even your pets. If you love this book as much as I do, click the link in the description box to get a copy for yourself. And as always, like the video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep reading great books together at Tuesday with Tasha. Bye-bye.